Lionel Messi chose America as his retirement day in the final stages of his career. The Argentinian superstar is considered as a living legend of football when he achieved all the noble titles from individuals and groups without lacking anything. Sometimes in America, we often hear people talking about Messi every time he creates highlights and delivers classy performances in his middle age. Today, we will continue to mention the name Lionel Messi, but not in the Argentine player's usual way. The story is now much darker. It is no longer a matter of expertise on the football field. A part of Messi's dark past has been brought up again. And after this, will his beautiful, saintly image still exist? Let's follow. Following the latest information in newspaper The Objective from Spain released, there is evidence revealing that Messi and Peak, and two powerful figures in Spanish football and UEFA, discussed using money from the UEFA fund for illegal purposes outside the scope of this fund. Not only the objective, but also famous newspapers such as France's Coupe, or the two biggest ones from Spain, Diario AS and Football España, all caused a stir with the headline, Messi, Pique, Rubiales and Seferin are entangled in suspicions of corruption. But that's just from the press's perspective. Here, I'll try to give you the most overall picture because in the end, everything, whether good or bad, has two sides. When it comes to money and Lionel Messi, surely everyone hasn't forgotten about the time nearly 10 years ago when the Argentinian player had to constantly serve time because of the tax evasion case. At that time, the court decided to sentence Lionel Messi and his father, Jorge Messi, to 21 months in prison for tax evasion between 2007 and 2009. Messi's father and son were accused of using companies in Brazil and Uruguay to declare lower taxes than usual. It is about some issues related to image copyright. During this period, the alleged amount is up to $4.5 million. Luckily for Messi, the punishment was less than two years. The former Barca player did not have to be in jail but could be enforced by probation. However, he still has to pay a guarantee of €250,000 and repay the tax that was not declared during the above period. Messi obviously declared that he did not know anything, but his father blamed the financial consultant. From then until now, nothing has happened until the incident in The Objective newspaper appeared. Lionel Messi this time also did not show up or directly act about the incident. However, what this Argentinian player wanted was the source of everything. Back in 2020, when the pandemic outbreaks around the world, we saw football being stopped for a period of several months. Many clubs are falling into a serious crisis because even if they compete, they will still lose a significant portion of their income because the matches do not have spectators. Many teams have to choose to maintain by reducing personnel and hoping members will agree to reduce their salaries to overcome the difficult times. Barcelona at that time certainly could not be an exception. Before the epidemic, their debt was so much, so the decision of Blograna at that time was to propose the players accept a 70% reduction to help cut losses due to the pandemic. And the information given by The Objective revealed that Rubiales proposed using the money to support the players' greatly reduced salaries. The meeting surrounding four individuals, including Messi, Peak, Rubiales and Seferin, was held to plan and distract from using part of the funds from UEFA to support the reduced salary. Both Messi and Pique agreed with the desire to compensate for the damage to the players. This can reduce stress for them during the time of the epidemic outbreak, and it is unknown when football can return. Emotionally, this is a humane action when hoping to share the difficulties for the players, but will defend them against the law on charges of abuse of power and using funds for personal purposes. Here, Lionel Messi will not officially appear, but Pique will be the representative conveying ideas. At this time, the Argentinian star is the captain at Barcelona, so his voice is very influential, so when suggesting ideas, Pique always emphasizes that this is an idea from Messi's perspective. At that time, it was expressed to UEFA that, I would rather receive nothing if there was no money to help others. However, when discussing the matter with Rubiales, to convey the words to UEFA president Alexander Seferin, Pique himself expressed his wish not to reveal this matter to the public because they themselves know how unimaginable the consequences will be. The conversation revealed between Rubiales and Seferin is that 
They told me that please do not tell anyone about the use of funds from UEFA to pay the players' salaries, because if they knew, they would kill us. Exactly two days later, specifically on April 4, 2020, Rubiales talked to Seferin about the progress of his consideration for the offer. The president of the Spanish Football Federation at that time did not forget to reiterate the concerns of Messi and Peak that they were worried about the leaked negotiations between RFEF and UEFA about solving the illegal money issue in incorrect procedure. And everyone involved was aware of the severe consequences they would have to receive if this matter was exposed. Finally, a few days later, Mr. Luis Rubiales proposed 4% of revenue from broadcasting rights from affiliated matches with UEFA, which was previously divided according to a specific formula for the football federations with participating teams, will be restructured with the idea of supporting clubs playing football in their homeland. To be more specific, AFEF will distribute about 50% of revenue from broadcasting rights received from UEFA. This fund includes salary reductions for players in the first division, second division, third division of women's football and futsal. The remaining 50% will be distributed coordinated with the needs of clubs during the COVID-19 crisis regarding salary reductions, 25% for professional clubs and 25% for non-professional clubs. These proposals are clearly stated that it will only be paid until the player's reduced portion is fully compensated. The expected number is about 50 million euros. The controversial issue here also comes from separate information that Messi and Piquet may receive an additional amount up to 30 million euros they can use for personal purposes. Here, these two players will use it to divide it equally among the Barca players. Again, on the positive side, Messi and Pique do not take this amount separately. But on the negative side, they abused their power to help Barca players receive higher compensation than the rest in Spain. This is one of the main reasons why they emphasized keeping it a secret. Luis Rubiales then mostly worked with Messi through Pique. It can be seen that the Argentine star is always extremely cautious in sensitive issues when not directly coming out, because he understands his current position and can't make the same mistakes as when young. Unfortunately, the objective newspaper has exclusive access to messages and recordings related to the negotiations between Messi, Peak, Rubiales and Seferin regarding the using UEFA funds to compensate for players' salary cuts during the pandemic. After negotiations, both sides were constantly texting each other and even had a situation of going through the back door to speed up progress by giving gifts. Luis Rubiales then asked Piquet and Messi to send signed jerseys to Alexander Seferin. This is considered a gift to thank the UEFA president's support and also showed their goodwill. In the last message that the objective showed on June 15, 2020, Rubiales told Piquet, Kerry, we need to continue discussing issue your funds or at least take out the 30 million euros that belong to us of La Liga and the Spanish Football Federation to give to you. According to the rumors, the objective gets valuable dialogue that may have come from Luis Rubiales's phone because the former president of the Spanish Football Federation is being investigated for scandals related to corruption. His phone was confiscated while traveling from the Dominican Republic to Spain. If the above information is true, what do you think? Even though all four names are now in different situations and no longer involved. Only Alexander Seferin is still active as president of UEFA, Messi is playing football in America, and Peak has long since retired and is taking care of his Kings League project. Overall, we can see the ultimate goal of both Messi and Peak as players wanting to support their colleagues is a good thing, but they are wrong to be biased towards those who were playing for Barca at that time. And the biggest thing is that they could get into legal trouble for abusing their power to use a large part of funds from UEFA for the wrong purpose. What is your opinion? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For now, thank you for your interest in watching. We look forward to seeing you again in the next episodes on the Football News Channel.